Hello again. Uh, today I wanted to take a couple minutes out and show you how to do a reset in WordPress. Uh, sometimes you might have a certain um, theme installed and uh, you try to install another theme and you notice things aren't working. Certain pictures aren't working or uh, banners aren't working and uh, there's an easy solution to this. So right now I left the uh, last example up of the analytical uh, theme and uh, so we're going to get out of this and show you how to do a reset. First you want to go ahead and click on uh, my website of course and go back to my dashboard and uh, you want to go to where it says plugins, add new and uh, there's a device called, it's called a WordPress reset. So you go ahead and uh, type this in and uh, search the plugins and uh, the WordPress reset is actually first. So uh, what we're going to do is install it now. And uh, of course we want to install this. And uh, we want to go ahead and activate it because we're going to go to reset it. So click here. And uh, so the plugin is activated. So uh, nothing is done yet. So if you go back to where it says, you know, my website, it's still the same. But the trick is to click on where it says, uh, I'm sorry, go back to the dashboard and where it says my website, you'll notice it says uh, reset site. And that's where you want to go ahead and reset it. So go, go ahead and click on this. And uh, they make you uh, type the word reset just to be sure. And uh, just as a warning, as soon as you do hit the reset and uh, reset it, you will lose all information. So if you have uh, a big website with a lot of information on, you might want to think twice before doing this. But uh, for the most part, this is just if you're trying to decide on certain themes and you're going back and forth not knowing what you know, what exactly you're looking for, you want to go ahead and uh, just go do this reset quickly. So you type that in and click on reset. And uh, it's giving you that final warning. And go ahead and click OK. And uh, so it's finished. So now if you go back to my website, visit site, it's going to take you back to the default WordPress site, the 2013 one for my website. So that would be it, and that's where you would go ahead and, if you want to go ahead and install more themes to see if they're working correctly, that's how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, and I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. Thank you.